Hi Diz Nerds! I'm Drew with the Disney Rabbit Hole. In this video, let's get to know Seven Dwarfs Mine Train a little better and talk about five things that maybe you didn't know about this Disney attraction at the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Seven Dwarfs Mine Train is a steel roller coaster located at Magic Kingdom with another version also at Shanghai Disneyland Park. The Magic Kingdom version opened to the public on May 28, 2014 as part of a major park expansion called New Fantasyland. The ride travels both indoors and outdoors, similar to Frontierland's major attractions Big Thunder Mountain Railroad and Splash Mountain. The Seven Dwarfs attraction features a unique tilting vehicle design that simulates the swaying and tipping of a minecart. If you like videos like these, we'd invite you to strike that like and subscribe for more. And now let's talk about some Seven Dwarves Mine Train trivia that you might not know. Number one, the experience starts earlier than you think. Take a close look at the path you're stepping on as you pass through the entrance and walk toward the mine. The Imagineers decided to recreate a bit of the forest at your feet. As you walk, you'll see imprints left by acorns, branches, and the feet of various forest animals. Number two, the line is half the fun. The queue for Seven Dwarfs Mine Train hosts a few interactive activities. One is a jewel washing station with touch screens that let you sift and sort gems as they float through the water. Another is a set of glowing gemstone filled barrels. If you give one a spin, it will project an image of one of the seven dwarfs on the ceiling. Number three, we've seen some of these animatronics before. Magic Kingdom ride fans might notice some familiar faces on Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. That's because some of the ride's dwarves, along with its pair of vultures, were repurposed from the Snow White's Scary Adventures attraction, which shut down before Seven Dwarfs Mine Train opened. The figures fit in perfectly within the ride and pay homage to a beloved defunct attraction. Number four, the mine carts are like snowflakes. Not a single one is the same. Each cart was individually painted and designed to look aged and worn. This level of detail goes right down to the bolts and other finishings, which are carefully crafted to look old and worn. Number five, the ride features a long lost song. Have you ever listened to the song that's playing along the ride queue? The song, Music in Your Soup, was written almost 100 years ago for the animated movie, but ended up being dropped from the final cut. The Imagineers added it back to the ride experience to pay homage to the film. Have you ridden Seven Dwarfs Mine Train at Magic Kingdom? If so, What's your favorite tiny little detail that maybe somebody else didn't notice? Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, thumb, sub, bell, I'm Drew. Farewell.